Very yeah, cool. so, so tell us about that. How do you buy a business <laughs> when it's not your money? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Yeah. 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 You win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> or someone gives you the money. Yeah. No, um, How do you buy a business using none of your own money? So let's just touch on why you want to buy a business for, for a start. So a- a- acquisitions, I think, can be terribly valuable because you can acquire um, a client base, like let's say a client base of 10,000 or 20,000 or you know, whatever size the business, you can acquire a client base that you can then funnel <coughs> your products and your programs through yeah. um, and vice versa. Within that business we'll have products and programs and all sorts of intellectual property that you can flush through your distribution and your clientele. So there's, there's so many, if it's a complementary business, there's so many um, synergies and growth opportunities to acquiring growth rather than growing organically. Mm-hmm. I think a balance of the two is, is, is best. Mm-hmm. Um, so how do you do that using none of your own money? So let's, you, let's do a hypothetical example, right, with figures which don't relate to the acquisition I've just done. Um, let's just pick some round figures out and, and do a hypothetical example. Mm-hmm. So often you'll buy a company um, at a multiple of its, of its profit. So let's say it's profiting uh, Gross or net that you normally look at? Usually it's EBIT. Okay. So EBIT is earnings before interest and tax. Mm-hmm. So it's net profit mm-hmm. um, before tax. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, and usually it's a multiple of, of that profit. So, you know, the, ve- the vendor, the seller will want uh, three times multiple for their business. And it's profiting 1.5, so they want 4.5. And you say, no, I don't want to pay you three times. You point out a few holes in the business. You say I'm willing to pay you one and a half times, mm-hmm. and then you meet them at two. So you're going to buy this business at a two times multiple. Mm-hmm. Purchase price is three million dollars. So me being the buyer, I would go to the seller and I'll say I want to pay you three million dollars, but I want to pay it to you over the next two years. So out of the profits of the business, I'll pay you your three million dollars. We now, call this an earn out in the states. It's exactly right. right. Yeah, it's okay. it's, a, it's a vendor financed mm-hmm. or a, an earn out. Okay. Yeah. An earnout, uh, you know, not, not to get too technical, but an earnout is in Australia is the entrepreneur is staying, mm-hmm. and so you're paying them to stay, so they are earning out. Okay. Got um, if 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 they are leaving, you're getting the business tomorrow, and it's just you're paying them over the next two years. Then it's a vendor finance arrangement. The vendor being the seller, they're effectively financing you into that deal. So. Uh, the seller says to me, Jack, absolutely not. I'm selling this business because I want some money. Right. I don't want to wait two years to get my three mil. And it's a high risk to just you know, give you my company. That's right. How do I know that you're going to be able to, 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 to give me the three mil and you're not going to drive the business into the ground? Especially when I build my brand. And, yeah. And it's me and all the ladies love me. So <laughs> that's right. Get the love. Which, uh, which isn't a problem I've ever had before. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine how that must feel. Um, <laughs> Get that from all the time. <laughs> um, so then it's about okay. Well, let's let's come up with a deal. So we might come up with a deal. I'm going to pay you a million dollars up front mm-hmm. and two million dollars over two years. Okay. Um, and on that two million dollars over two years, so the vendor finance component, I'll pay you ten percent interest every year. Cool. So that incentivizes me to pay off the vendor finance loan. Quick as fast as possible. Yeah, exactly. So, so it, it aligns our interests. Got it. Now I've got to come okay. with a million bucks. Yeah, now they're going, okay, all right, a million dollars. That's right. Get that yeah. So I hope, I hope we're following because it's a, it's a, it's a long example. But um, So now I've got to come up with a million dollars. Now I'm buying the business at $3 million. So a million dollars represents a third of the company. Mm-hmm. If I, so in, in the deal which I've just done, I found two investors mm-hmm. which came in and stumped up the upfront component. Mm-hmm. So in this example, they stumped up the million dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, investors come in, let's say one investor comes in, invests that million dollars, they get a third of the company mm-hmm. in equity. Mm-hmm. So that isn't debt, that's not a loan that I have to pay back, I'm not accruing interest on that, mm-hmm. it's just they get a third of the business. Mm-hmm. Now, because they get a third of the business, I need to like that person. I need to like they need to be a mentor of mine. Mm-hmm. They need to add a lot more value than just the money. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they need to be able to add intellectual capital. They need to be able to bring networks. They need to be able to bring experience and all that sort of stuff. But if I find someone that can do that, I bring them in, I give them a third of the business. They're paid for the upfront component. Me as the managing director or the entrepreneur of, of the business, I'm responsible for the other for paying off the other two thirds of the company. So I, I retain two thirds of the business. Yes. Um, and I've acquired myself a three million dollar company using none of my own money. Awesome. Except you got to perform now. 
<laughs> I've got to perform. Absolutely, I've got to perform it. Because I've got the investor yes. who needs me to perform, and I've got the vendor who needs his two million yes. bucks. So I absolutely have to perform. And yeah, that's probably something that if it doesn't go well, only goes well, not well once. <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. You only have to do it once. Again, if if my all my confidence in business comes from surrounding myself with the best. So the investors which I bring on, I've got, a, I've got a board, some of them are directors, some of them are just advisory boards, so like quasi directors. Um, and every month we get together and these people are, have all been in the game 15, 20, 30 years longer than I have. Yeah. Um, some of them have got grey hair, which in this instance is a compliment. Yes. You know, they've got so much experience. Yes. Um, so I know that if I can just engage them and utilise them to the best of my ability, um, then hopefully nothing goes wrong. Excellent. Good. All right. Thank you so much. We can uh, leave it there. Cool. I appreciate your time Thanks, so much. Thanks, man. Really appreciate Thank it. You.